Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again to our daily English news edition. I'm Daniel Cook, your host, keeping you up to date with the latest events in Albania in a language that you understand. Today, the believers in the Muslim religion celebrate the religious holiday of Eid al-Fitr, also known as Bayram. The day of Bayram follows immediately after the month of Ramadan, a time that is holy to Muslim believers. During Ramadan, Muslims around the world take part in fasting and devotion of time to spiritual renewal. In honor of Bayram, many Muslims gathered together at 6 o'clock this morning in the National Martyrs Boulevard to offer the Aid prayer. The Muslim community leaders called for peace and harmony among the Albanian people. President Buyar Nishani conveyed a congratulatory message as well to all Muslim believers. He wished for more wisdom, harmony, good health, prosperity, and goodness for all Muslim Albanians. This year, the holy month of Ramadan began on June 18th and ended on July 16th. Before the celebrations this, of this important holiday on the Islamic calendar, the Muslim believers customarily distribute alms to the poor so that they have food on their tables on this day. Many of the state leaders have conveyed congratulatory messages for the Muslim holiday of Bayram today. The high state authorities, representatives of political parties, ambassadors to our country, and honorary councils wished for more peace and harmony for all Albanians. President Nishani made the following address. On this joyful day, I want to highlight the fact that it is important to spread love and unity in our nation through sacrifice, work, and dedication. Our country is blessed by natural beauty, and it deserves our love, our respect, and our dedication in order to get what it deserves and the standards that we deserve. The Assembly Speaker, Ilir Meta gave this message. Happy Eid al-Fitir. God rewards all of your spiritual and physical sacrifices. I wish for more peace, happiness, and prosperity in your families. The Minister of Social Welfare, Blendi Klosi, said, Bayram comes after the month of sacrifices, the month when we all express love for one another. In the name of the government and the Prime Minister, Adi Rama, I wish for more harmony and peace for the Albanian nation. I hope that sympathy for the poor will accompany us throughout the entire year because they are the ones who need the most care from the state. Edi Paloka, the head of the Democratic Parliamentary Group, made the following address. I want to convey my best wishes to the Muslim believers on the occasion of Bayram. This is a holiday that carries a special meaning, not only in the religious aspect, but in every aspect, because we should all believe that good things come after sacrifice. In the name of the Democrats and the Democratic Chairman, I wish the best to all Muslims. The Honorary Council of Mexico, Uli Androci, also paid a visit to the Muslim community and conveyed his best wishes to the Muslim believers. Thousands of Kosovar Muslim believers attended the morning prayer today in honor of Bayram. In a religious ceremony held at the mosque in Pristina, the head of the Muslim community in Kosovo made the statement that the Islam community of Kosovo is against extremism and against every terrorist act throughout the world. He confirmed the dedication of Kosovo's Islamic community against religious terrorism. He said, There is nothing more important in a society than the dedication of all of us to security, peace, harmony, and respect for each other. We will not allow anyone to harm our security by introducing distrust and murder among us. We reconfirm the dedication of the Kosovo Islamic community. We are against extremism and terrorism in the name of Islam said the head of the Kosovar Muslim community. Problems with land ownership have hindered Albania for the past 25 years, creating an obstacle for the development of the market and for foreign investment. This is the opinion of the Albanian economic experts, who are expressing reservations about the new formula for the compensation of former owners, which was presented yesterday by the government. The economic expert and former Vice Minister of Integration, Albert Gallo, thinks that the property problems hamper the creation of trustful international relations and long-term contracts with investors. He does not support the new compensation formula that was introduced yesterday, saying that it will damage the property owners. The international reports are saying that property ownership issues are the primary obstacle to serious investments in the country of Albania.
According to the latest INSTAT report, Albanians have significantly reduced their spending on entertainment, reserving their personal funds for only the most basic and necessary products, such as food and health services. INSTAT finds that during the first quarter of the year, the category of other services, which includes arts, entertainment, and family activities, decreased by 4.53% compared to the same period a year ago. The experts say for the re, uh, that the reasons for this decline in entertainment spending is the economic crisis, which has forced the Albanians to reserve their money for the basic goods of daily consumption. This has been confirmed by the Institute of Statistics in a recent report on the economic growth from January to March of 2015. The report reveals that this is the first drop in the other services category since the second quarter of 2013. The police have announced that 99 gas stations are going to be legally prosecuted as the result of their operation that began on May 4th. They have already arrested the owners of eight stations for tax evasion. The state police have provided some information about the operation up until July 16th. They reveal that they have inspected 783 gas stations throughout 13 cities of Albania over the last two months. 79 gas stations are being prosecuted for concealment of income, six for possession, storage, and trading of smuggled goods, one gas station for smuggling excise goods, and two for failing to pay taxes. So far, eight people have been arrested and three others have been declared wanted. Also during the operation, the police have confiscated 56,503 liters of diesel, 711 liters of petrol, and 6,350 liters of gasoline. Two days ago, the head of the state audit announced that there were 16 billion lek missing from the state budget, primarily due to discrepancies in the hydrocarbon sector. After conveying a congratulatory message to all Muslim believers, the head of the Agency for Property Legalization made the announcement that the legalization process will be free for 50,000 citizens who built their structures between January of 2009 and July of 2014. Mr. Artan Lame declared that the new law, which has already entered into power, will legalize all the buildings constructed during this time. He said, the new law on legalization enters into power today. It includes a legalization process for 50,000 buildings that were built between January of 2009 and July of 2014. The citizens who built during this period and have not declared their buildings are still welcome to take advantage of this process all around the country. The former property owners will also benefit from the new law on legalization. There are around 22,000 former owners whose property was occupied by illegal constructions. I call the immigrants who are returning to Albania to begin their legalization process, said the head of the legalization agency. That concludes our edition for this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Please be with us again tomorrow at the same time for more translated news in English. Thanks, and have a great night.